Welcome to Lakeland, Florida, the place every hoops team in the state wants to be during February. And we've got the best 2A teams on deck for you tonight in the Class 2A state championship here inside the Lakeland Center. Now it is going to be Grandview Prep against Calvary Christian and the Lions. This is how these two teams got here. Grandview Prep in control pretty much the whole way against, against Asilla Christian and Calvary Christian. Their game coming down to the wire. Both of these semifinal games played just a day ago. And both of these teams landing here in the state championship today. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Despina Bart alongside Tom Mosca. These two teams very similar in style of play, right? They both are very, very fundamentally sound up and down the floor offensively and defensively. So this is going to be an exciting game. They're going to go head to head. And they're going to be relying on their leaders for Grandview Prep. It's Megan Rapperside. She had a hefty game last night. We're going to need a lot more from her tonight. Yeah, she's a great player. She shoots the three. She can attack the rim. She's an all around scorer for them. She leads the team 18 points a game. Of course, they had the lead out in front for the majority of their semifinal, while Calvary Christian had to claw their way through. We have the highlights and what happened in that semifinal game. They faced Geneva, and it was kind of a three-point game. Back and forth, back and forth. Grace Gunter here shoots it deep for Geneva. They're in the lead there, then Calvary, Yasmin Perez. What a beautiful outlet pass. Perez running the court, fast break, it's good. Day. That is Yasmin Perez, their point guard. Very gritty Calvary team that wants to make history tonight against a Grandview prep team that feels like they were shorted a year ago. Stay here as we have the 2A state championship when we return here on Spectrum Sports. To Calvary Christian and the Lions, they have a record of 18 and eight, have won the last 12 of 13 games. They've got a set of twins in Faith and Hope Hodges out on the wing. Their fearless leader, Yasmin Perez, guiding at the point guard for center. Absolutely. Different players. Hodges inside to Perez. The other Perez, that one knocked away and a foul is called. Three. Cavalry down by five here. Marticia Nelson, nice take. Really good job attacking the press, reverse the ball, get it up court, and you have a two-on-one situation down at the end. Similar pieces to a year ago, they wanted to add that shooting factor. Draw the extra defender. Perez splitting the defense here. Nice cut back door from Faith Hodges. Excellent ball skills coming down the court with Perez. Penetrated all the way down to the end. Kicked it for the layup. Perez staying with it. Nearly kept that one in bounds. Tiptoed right out in front of our broadcast booth. Right in front of us, she hits the deck hard. That energy, we won't see stop. She was relentless in the semifinal game. I think she knows what's at stake here tonight. Her first. With the mismatch, you would think that they would try to get the ball down to Scarlett Anosier and let her operate. Perez here in transition, feeding Mariah Perez. That's what this team likes to do. They want to run in transition, push the ball. They don't have a lot of height. Calvary coming the other way. Rapper side on the wing. Still off her mark. That went too much. Give me positions. And that, and that one too. A whistle here at midcourt. The possession will stay with the Lions. Just don't know when the official's gonna call a foul or let it go. The press, you got you gotta go after it. You gotta you gotta go after it on the press, and that's that's what you're taught to do. Anticipate where the ball is going and go for the steal. Sometimes the officials, if you press the whole game, they can't call every foul. You no, know, and at some point you wanna, you know, reward them for their effort as well. Whereas the shot is off, bodies on the floor. We're running the other way with Alexis Romer. Off the hand of Rumpersad. Stepped in on the floor, so a new body, maybe throw off. The prime. Hope Hodges gets it in. The feed down low. No go. Tracked down by Hodges. We'll have a shot right there on the elbow from the junior, Yasmin Perez. 
Nice little shot from at the top of the circle. You see this pressure up here. Perez leads the state in steals. Nearly 11 a game. Out to Radenbaugh. Off the side rim. We're going the other way. Perez will pull up. Two for two. And a whistle and a timeout by Grandview Prep head coach Ian Clark. Perez is feeling it. She just hit the shot at the top of the key. Now they take it on the run. Under control. Pulls up. She gets her feet set and just pulls the trigger. Nothing but net you can see. She's just loving every minute of it. A 7-1 run there for Calvary in those last couple of minutes. You look at their playoff history, eight appearances, six and seven in the record, but this is their first state championship appearance. This team, I know Zach mentioned it earlier, lost four of its five starters to transfers in the offseason. 80% of their offensive production just taken from underneath them. So to do this, to get here, you it's know, massive. It is, and you know, you, the credit goes to Coach and his staff. You, you know, you do what you believe in, and you teach, and, and you coach, and they got back here without four, four returning starters. And two steals. It's a pretty good night's work. And one for one here on the free throw line. One for two, excuse me. Perez splitting the defense once again. Her MO, and this one goes through the hands of Michaela Chenault. It seems that Perez is getting up court, but nobody else is on her team when they're trying to run. Tired, tired. Of running that a team wants to do. If the coach's philosophy is you're going to push the ball up the floor, you have to live with the turnover. <laughs> Shake and bake, Perez running the floor here. This young lady is so strong-willed. I don't think anything can hold her back in this contest. And, and this young lady's gonna graduate next year with her AA, and she wants to be a pre-med student. She wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. Perez drills them both. Her team out in front by three. Personal foul here in the first quarter. Perez gets the shot up. That one way over the backboard. But from going down 8 1, this Calvary Christian now leads going into the second quarter 14 11. It's a two way state championship. We have the second quarter when we return. Four for Grandview Prep, while Calvary Christian, well, they have been posting at least 17 wins in four state straight region appearances here in the last four years. This team just building on its blocks and finally putting all the pieces together. They are the key of consistency. Well, Grandview Prep, they know about state championships. She was clapping on her way down the floor, just cheering her team on. Big board again from Shozier, Anna Shozier. Skip pass. Better ball movement here to Rafasan. And the hands are big for Calvary. They had him in the passing lane. Perez behind the back. Creating her own lane. Coast to coast for Perez. A beautiful take on the steal. She wiggled her way into the lane and finished strong. Montabano seeing the pressure. Again, he hands everywhere in this Calvary defense. Romper says, settling the crew, takes an NBA three. More good. Staying with it, though, Anna Shazir. And once again, Yasmin Perez, we talked about her in the open. We've been talking about her this whole first half. The captain of this ship for Calvary Christian. Calvary Christian slowing things down a little bit. 
This team was down by three with two minutes to go in that semifinal yesterday. And their head coach, Rick, has went to go grab a sip of water. No worries. The other team was stalling. Didn't matter. He had his confidence in his players. Still trying to find her stroke. Just a rhythm. It's just a shooting rhythm. If the shots aren't falling for you, you give it up to your teammates. Let the game come back to you. Yes, Perez. Into Perez. That one's going to be off Grandview. So it will stay with the Lions. Bury Christian going for their first ever state championship in program history. Grandview Prep has an opportunity to clinch their second. Big board there by Scarlett and Shazir. Pride have to convert now. Make it worth it. Perez all over that ball. Picked up by Faith Hodges. We're going all the way. Perez, head down, that shot way off. Salvage though, and Perez all over it. Getting chippy down there. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Come on refs, get a, get a hand on it. Grandview Prep picked up their seventh team foul. When the teams reach 10, you'll get guaranteed two shots at the free throw line. Call it the super bonus. <laughs> I always like taking both of my shots on the free throw line. And I bet you made them, didn't you? <laughs> I did. I was an 82% free throw shooter back in the back in the day. Much different tempo here in the second quarter. Calvary being very deliberate. Ball on the ground. We're going to have a jump ball call. It's a nice little set play that they ran with two high posts. The ball goes in on one side at the high post. The other post player cuts to the basket to get the pass. Perez with the fake. Let's go fly off the wing. Try to take this time. Knocked up by Megan Rockerside. I think we need to start counting how many times. Uh, Yasmin Perez is on the floor. Probably 10 times already. I mean, you see her legs too, covered with those braces and added support. I think there's knee pads underneath there too. She's made to fly. And listen, she plays for an elite AAU team in Central Florida, elite, a Nike sponsored team. She's the point guard of that squad. She matches and sets the tone for the physicality. What, what do they say? She got game. Yes, she does. Feet were set, knocking it down. Pulls this one within one. Calvary still out in front, 17-16. Hodges down to Perez. And get Nelson activated. Randy Prep throwing it away here. Spark plug yesterday mm -hmm. that got them going and kept them going in the second half. She's my girl. <laughs> Perez to Hodges. Going off that side rim. Fought for from Mariah Perez. What a big hook back. Nineteen, eighteen, ninety 90 seconds to go here in the first half of this 2A state championship. Mariah Perez. For them to win. We have a foul called here on Yasmin Perez. She tried to pickpocket. A little too aggressive. It's her first. I'll take it she at this point. She doesn't know any other speed. <laughs> you just got to let her play. Go, 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 go. 
Ryden Bob brings this one back up to reset. Really tipped off. Here comes the trap. And off the hands of Ryden Bob. Another successful defensive stance Just for Calvary Christian. Oh. And find out who those go-to girls are. And, you know, cut the snake's head off. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only a few ball handlers at this level on the floor. Mm -hmm. and, and his mentality is you can knock that one player off, the rest of the dominoes will fall. Holding the ball out for one shot, it looks like. 25 seconds to go. Now we're going to get a trap. Perez out of it. To Mariah Perez. Paying out early as they carry a three-point lead here. Zach, you've got Coach Jim. Halftime of the 2A state championship game between Grandview Prep and Calvary Christian. The Lions looking for their first state title in school history, up by three at the halfway mark of this state championship game. Zach Aldridge here with Will White. And Coach, when you look at this game, kind of surprising a little bit with the way that it started. Calvary has a lot of thanks for Yasmin Perez. She seems like she just burst out the stat page with only eight points. Yeah, she's just everywhere. She got wrecked just running around everywhere, getting uh, falling on the ground, going hard to the basket and everything. But you can tell she's that floor general that they needed and just such energy and everything. And like you said, it seems like she has a lot more than eight right. points, but it's because she's controlling the, the tempo of the game with her energy and her passing. Her poise just seems kind of out of this world, the way that she's able to kind of meticulously break down that press more times than one, single-handedly able to get it down there. Yeah, just weaving in and out and making some really long, deep passes to her team. So she's being able to kind of uh, calm their team after that slow start. Yeah, when we look at, at her highlights and the way that she's been able to, to get things done for the team, what's been most impressive about her game for you? I like that pull-up jumper like we just saw that right there. You don't see that a lot in uh, uh, basketball anymore. And I think you'll see it again here where she's just going to stop and pop in the open court. And again, that nice 12, 15-foot open shot that you don't see a lot very often. And just being able to see the court, her vision is just has been one of the best I've seen this week. Yeah, I know we, we featured Yasmin in the open and we talked about her earlier. A girl who's really able to do a lot of things for the team um, as far as bio and everything. I know this Bina mentioned that she's interested in going into physical therapies coming from her had five five, but kind of playing bigger than that. Yeah. Man, she's flying almost uh, taking people out on the sidelines, going in hard, picking herself up. And I, I just love watching that kind of spirit yeah. and that kind of player. It's been a tremendous New prep down by three, but the way they opened the game, it, it looked like they had the ability to knock down a few threes that they could potentially run away with it. Yeah, those open threes, getting that lead there, give coach credit, he called a timeout, and right after that timeout, his team answered right away, went right down the court, scored a layup, and then made a run of their own, so much so that Coach Clark from Grandview Prep had to call their own timeout. Right. When we look forward to the second half, only three points, anything can happen, so we will definitely have to keep a close eye on this one. Don't go away, halftime will continue. We'll kick it back to Tom and Despina. Halftime for the two-way state game. Welcome back into the Lakeland Center. It's halftime of this two-way state championship game. Calvary Christian out in front by three. Thanks for sticking with us here on Spectrum Sports. This is Mina Barton alongside Tom Mosca. Interview prep that jumped out to a seven-point lead at the 5.30 mark in the first quarter. After that, Calvary Christian clawing their way back in. And once they took the lead later that quarter, it's been all Calvary Christian. How do they keep this one extended? And Carol, Calvary Christian, once they, they, they flipped it and they got in control, uh, as Coach said at halftime here, uh, he wants to control the pace. And that's, that's what's happening out there. Well, well, there's 16 more minutes to go here. Third quarter when we return, we'll see if Calvary Christian can keep their pace in line. Stay here on Spectrum Sports. It's the Lions that pick up the possession. Still ahead by three. One minute into the third quarter here. Calvary with an opportunity to make history with their first state championship. While Grandview Prep felt gypped a year ago, dropping out in the final four. This unit never winning one for the Pride. It's a nice little screen and roll play right there. Early ticket to the free throw line here from Mariah Perez. Just stays with it. Yasmin Perez, we talked about her leading the state in steal. She leads this team in points and assists. back to this team. And a big bucket here from Marticia Nelson, senior captain. 
This was a set play. They tried to get the ball to Nelson off of the dribble penetration. She had the open side on the baseline. Nice read there from Yasmin. Two-point game here in the third quarter. Perez, her hand so active in just about everything. Went up against three red jerseys there, drawing the contact. <laughs> She's fearless, huh? They're just flying around. Yasmin Perez running the offense. Nice little team. Major contact on the elbow.